hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have an amazing example in matlab we are going to solve a uh, thermal conduction using a Fourier law problem as displayed on the screen we will determine the heat flux through the window from this example as you know that the heat flux is given by this equation which is a negative k a dt of a dx where k is the thermal conductivity of the material a is the area under which the heat flow it flows dt is the temperature differences between hotter regions and uh, cold regions whereby dx is the thickness of our material if you solve this one analytically you're going to get 480 watts which is the same as 480 joules per second but we are going to use a uh, MATLAB landscape to see whether they can be able to solve this one using the blocks let's now have fun and start from the MATLAB you open the simulink I've already opened one and you save you go to the library browser you go to the simskip thermo and we need you go to the thermo elements because we need a productive heat transfer we're going to use the first block which is the conductive heat transfer this block enables us to define the value variables like thermo conductivity etc therefore we right click add block to the model here it is you can zoom out okay you double click the model we need to define area thickness and thermal conductivity as stated in our problem higher we define the area which is a uh, 1.5 meter squared dx is our thickness which is a uh, 0.003 meters our thermal conductivity is k which is a uh, 0.96 we press ok that is our conductive heat transfer which is enables us to define various parameters then we need to define the temperature sources we have 14 and 13 you go back to library you go to this we have our now sources thermal sources you choose a temperature source to add to the model it is we need to define this one as a 14 in a uh, in Fourier's law the interest is usually changing t in this case changing t will be one so in this case you double click i can now use uh this 14 14 plus 273 convert to kelvin but it doesn't matter you can use i can still use 14 Okay. This the heat flow will flow from A to B, therefore 14, you have to attach 14 to A. You attach 14 to A. You can drag this, you can right click drag to copy, then you change to 13. Yeah, you can use 13 or you can add 273, but it doesn't matter for this case. Then we need 13. To be our, our lower side therefore a to b a is the higher side b is the lower side you connect this one to b therefore this, remember these arrows they represent the direction in this scenario in this case the direction is from a to b therefore a has to be 14 b has to be 13 then we need a sensor 
to sense now to read the QX. You go back to the library. You go to thermal, thermal sensors. You choose heat through LED. You can drag. Then, this. in thermal, we usually treat this sensor like a, like a current. The way the current flows through the conductors, therefore the heat is supposed to flow. Therefore, this one has to be in series with our block. Therefore, you don't put this block on parallel, use a series configuration because we have a thermal flow. Therefore, I delete that branch, that line, then connect this B to A. This sensor will sense the heat flow from A to B. Then B to the, the T, T out. I can change this one to be T in or T inside. T inside. I this one to be T outside. Yeah, T outside, like that. Therefore, this H is where now we get the we get our value. This one is a physical, so you know. The, okay, what, what, what we get here, we have, we have now to convert this one to a simulink for you to get the value. Therefore, you can type P, use this one, PS to simulate converter. Or go to library, go to foundation, utilities, you choose this. Okay. Yeah. Then you attach to the to the block. Then we need a, a display to display our value. You can go to you can just type display di choose display then attach here okay this one will display our qx last three we need a solver go back to library this you need a solver solver there you attach it to any branch Let's use 10 seconds simulation here. Now you can you can press run. Yeah, the result is 480. The same values we got here from analytical method. Therefore, you can even you can use blocks for the simulink to solve such such problems. or can use analytical method. Yeah, we can verify this. If I double change in P, this one this one has to double. Let me double here by just using 15 so that change in P becomes times two. Let's see. Yeah, we are getting 960 because now the change in D has to double. Let me use the go back to the initial value 480. Thank you so thank you for watching my video. I will prepare another video, but in this scenario, we are going now to solve for T in or T out. If you're given 480, how can you go back and find the initial values used? Therefore, don't miss that video. Kindly subscribe, like my video, and hit that notification button because I'm making such amazing videos for you. Thank you. Bye.